I'm going to show you step-by-step -step on how to build a basic MSP website from beginning to end, everything in between. I'm not holding anything back as a website builder myself with building well over 150 websites. I'm gonna bring back and show you basically everything that you need to have a fantastic starter website. Now the what I'm showing you is a slightly modified process than what a designer would actually go do. But this is to get you from I don't have a website to something you are proud of and you don't feel embarrassed about when you say, hey, this is my website. So we're going to be covering all of that in today's video. This is going to be a bit of a longer video. So you're probably going to want to grab yourself a bottle of water, something like that. Get ready to go on a learning experience with me. My name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com and we help MSPs both in sales and marketing to help them grow online. Before I get into today's video, a couple of quick things. Number one, masterclass, as always, down in the links below. If you haven't gotten it already, it's worth getting. The new one, now that I'm not sick, I can start recording. I was kind of waiting to get over uh, my full-blown sickness of having the flu. Not that anyone needs to know that, but hey, you're welcome. Number two, if you haven't joined the Discord already, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's completely free. There's a link down below. Jump in the Discord. Come hang out with us. It's a great community of MSPs that are currently getting into it. So let's get into the building of a website and ultimately a brand that we have to build. Now, once again, this is a modified version of what a designer would follow. And I'm going to share with you guys exactly what I would do. So inside of Wix, there will be a link down below if you'd like to use Wix. They want to talk about your site. So we, before we even get involved, and I've preloaded some tabs too, but before we even get involved in building out the site, we have to come up with some structure of a company because in reality, we can't just go head first into uh, the great World Wide Web and, and this blank area here. We need to come up with some kind of idea of what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to use ChatGPT to help accelerate this process because I don't feel like coming up with all of it myself and you know, makes it for a fun video. So I'm going to say, hey, chat, I need to create a logo and branding package for an MSP that targets accounting firms and tax professionals. And that's really all I'm going to tell it. Can you create a branding and logo guide that I can follow to help build an amazing website? Now I'm giving it completely free reign on what I would normally ask for it. So I'm gonna actually, now that it's creating some of these things, I'm just gonna have it make all of this for me. So once it stops giving me information here, we're gonna see exactly what it can create for us. So it's already given me a logo, which I mean, I'm probably going to use for this video, but I probably would go back and tweak and modify it. But now I want to actually have it do a lot of the work for us. I don't really want to sit here and do the work. So I'm going to pretend and have it give me all of the information. So I don't even want to think about it, right? We have secure ledger MSP, right? The industry managed services, target uh, market, who it's targeting, core services, their mission statement, their vision statement. All of these are actually really, really important for this. And I basically just told it to make things up. So it's giving us the founding story. It's going to tell us the services offered, all of that kind of stuff that we would need to help go through and build this company per se. It's giving me colors, it's giving me uh, the logo design, it's giving me typography here, marketing strategy of who I wanna go target, a growth plan for my MSP, and it gives me a ton of information. So let's start getting into this. Let's go through and let's start to plug this into, Wix does offer a full-blown AI website builder. So let's go in here. Uh, what do you wanna call your site? Secure Ledger MSP. And it's basically just gonna ask me, what the business is about. And we've already filled all of this stuff out. We can tell it the company overview, the mission statement, core values, and the founding story. So let's just give it all of it. I mean, make our lives easier. And I even cut off a little bit there. It's gonna pick it up. This is what AI can do, thankfully. So let's see what it's gonna kick back to us. Charlotte, North Carolina, because why not? That's where I live. 
And I'm just going to give it all of this information. I don't think there it's worth even hiding anything else from it. I'm just going to give it all of it. So that way it knows exactly what to do, how to do it. And the AI is actually going to start crafting us a fantastic website. And because we've already used a lot of AI, it knows exactly what it needs. It's We're giving it probably more information than it actually needs to build the website, but I'd rather give it more than less in this area. And I just wanted to have a modern design and clean feel. And that's it. So let's see what it'll give us back now that it kind of knows exactly who we're targeting and, and all of that information, which is in reality, if you were to go out and build this, and I'm going to take a moment to change this. If you were to go out and build this, this is exactly what you need. Any MSP or, or better yet, any designer that builds websites for a living, they need to ask you a couple different questions, your branding guidelines, your colors, all of that. Remember that buyer persona that I keep mentioning, and I'm going to actually bring it up here. If you don't have that filled out, you're just setting yourself back. Building out this buyer persona form is actually one of the best things that you could possibly go give to your designer. You hand that over to them and say, hey, this is who I want to target. That way they know, okay, we can start to work on different colors. We know exactly who we're targeting. We know what kind of messaging that we're creating in the copy. All of this goes into it. So by going through and filling out your buyer persona form, actually sets you significantly further ahead, pain points and challenges. If you want to download the buyer persona, there's always a link down in the description down below. It's the most useful tool I've ever built ever. So let's go back to Wix and let's see what they're doing. This is great with a modern clean design website. will have a sleek professional look. Rest assured that you'll be able to achieve that in the Wix editor. Is there anything else I should know? Nope. That's all. And now it's going to give us probably a website, at least a good starting point. This is not to give you a website that is going to shatter the earth and it's going to be the next Apple. This is purely to go through and make your life easier. Now it's going to go through. You're all set. Let's go to the dashboard. Let's see what it's built for us. This has taken all of eight minutes currently of live time. It's going to be sped up in the recording here, but now it's going to come through and it's going to give us the back end of this business. Let's go through, let's design the site, right? We have we have services, we can set up payments, connect your domain, all of that good stuff. But I don't want any of that for right now. Let's create the website for us. It has a really good idea of what we want, who we're targeting. So we have our name, secure ledger, ledger MSP. We have our email, right? We could go help at secureledgermsp.com, Charlotte, North Carolina. We'll leave the phone number blank. Social links, we'll leave those blank too. Obviously, you would make those, but for in this case, we're going to go through it. We're going to pick a theme here. Uh, maybe, you know what? I'm just going to guess. Professional, highly approachable feel. Perfect. I like high rise, and it's going to prepare our homepage design for us. It's going to give us at least a solid starting point of where we need to be and what we could possibly do in here. So I'm just going to look through all this. All of these look okay. I think that this one probably has the best feel to it. So next, it's going to ask us another set of questions. Services. We probably need a services page. Our projects, if you've already done them, great. If, you, if not, no big deal. An about us page, any careers, FAQ, contact us page. We probably need a contact us page. And maybe an FAQ page. Let's just throw it in there as well. And now it's going to start designing that website for you. It is literally that simple to go through and build this website. So here we go. We have a very, very basic website. Now, once again, is this going to shatter anybody or, or make them say, wow, this is amazing? Absolutely not. But what it does allow is it allows you, it gives you something that says, hey, we are a real company. This is what we really do. And this is how good we could possibly make it. That is going to be the difference between anyone else and you. You have something. You can go through and you're going to be able to actually go through and update this entire website. You can go through, you can do quick editors, you can adjust anything, whatever it is. You can have your subscribe form. Hello, or secure ledger MSP. It talks about who you are. Perfect? Absolutely not. But this is the beginning of a beautiful, beautiful website. 
Once again, this is not the exact process that I would follow. Now I did say that I would give you some free tips and tricks on how to make this significantly better. Inside of Wix, Wix has a really robust photo library and video library that covers the gamut of just about everything. If you don't want to use that, there's plenty of other resources. So some of my favorite ones are Pexels. We have Pixabay or Unsplash and we have Pixabay here. And they are full of royalty free images, images that you could use in your website. You do have to give a little bit of credit to them, but you could put that in a page on your website somewhere and you could go through. You can use all of these. If we search, you know, computer company on all of them. Let's just see what comes up. There's plenty of images on here. I've used this so many times and these are all free. This is balling on a budget. If you want to take it one step further, yeah, you could go to Shutterstock and grab really, really high end images. You can even have ChatGPT go through and create some of these. I can give ChatGPT this information here and say, come up with a logo for it. And while it's processing, I'll switch back and show you there's other ways to create logos in here. You can go through, you could start to use a Canva free platform and build a beautiful logo in here. It doesn't have to be earth shattering. It just has to get you to the point where somebody can look at you and say, hey, this is a real company. Yeah, they might not have everything dialed in. They didn't spend thousands of dollars on a website, but at least you can say, this is who we are. This is what we do. This is how we do it and how we function. And it's getting you to that point where it is started. Building out using the AI makes it so much easier. It removes tons of those headaches that you would normally run into with, uh, not to quote Taylor Swift, but a blank space. This is, this is a canvas for whatever you would like. It's great, but it's going to give you a ton of headaches. Here you go, Secure Ledger MSP. It's not perfect, but hey, this one's not bad. Secure Ledger MSP. I don't know exactly what these all are, but managed service provider, it's almost spelled correctly. AI is not that good. And you could go through and start there with your stuff. Is this perfect? Absolutely not. But what I could tell you is by starting this and getting your foot in the door, having something that you can actually go leverage and you can go use, you could... Look through this entire process, this entire website, swap out all of your own images, right? Industries since 2000. Yeah, it's going to make up some fake information here. Cybersecurity Essentials, cyber cons Cybersecurity Consultation, Cybersecurity Masterclass. It's just throwing information in here that you can go through, work on over and over and over again. We have an About Us area. You can build out your team. It's super professional. Yes, is it not the nicest thing in the world? No, but... Having this is better than trying to slap together a WordPress website when you have no idea what you're doing. This is the first step and your website is never done. You can go through this and revise and revisit over and over and over again and ask your friends, your family, your customers and say, hey, what do you like versus what do you not like about my website? This is if you choose not to hire an expert company. You can contact us, growth-generators.com forward slash contact. If you want us to build out your website, but you don't have to, you can go through, you can build this out. You can have something where somebody can either book you, pay you, Wix will take care of your payments, your subscriptions. You can start collecting money. And if you pair Wix with a CRM, like go high level, which is what I recommend. Once again, link down below, you have a recipe for getting new customers for sending out bills and for billing monthly and collecting that monthly reoccurring revenue, and keeping track of all your prospects. I usually carry a stack of business cards. Here it is on my desk. These are leads that you can pick up the phone and call and message and send it over and over and over again. So if you're out at your local chamber of commerce and you're just starting, yeah, we have a website. You're not going to win an award for it, but that's okay. You didn't have to spend any money and you spent a little bit of time having something really, really nicely done. That chat GPT is going to help you get a really good starting point, a mission statement, a vision statement. You can go through and modify and adjust these. This is just the starting place. So I hope you guys found some value in this video. I hope it made it a little bit easier. It removed some of the headaches that you might be running into and Ultimately, I just want you guys to start winning online. This is the first step. Many of you are afraid to do business because you don't have a website. 
I have just created it in 16 minutes. I would probably spend another hour or two going through this, tweaking, modifying, swapping out the right images, but you have a vision statement. You have a mission statement. You have logo guidelines, which is exactly what you need. You can go give this to somebody who's a freelance designer, a college student, somebody local in your town. Say, hey, can you build a logo around this? It's the starting point, or you can take a crack at doing it yourself. This is purely to get you started to start closing deals, to start looking more professional and get you going. I hope you guys found some value in this. If you have made it this far, I hope you have hit the like button on this video. I hope you've hit the subscribe button, the notification button. Maybe you want to send this to your friends and family. Maybe your kids want to watch it. Maybe your dogs want to watch it. I appreciate you for sitting here, hanging out with me for a little while and going through this entire process. I love you guys. I appreciate the support. Join the free discord, get the free masterclass, get the buyer persona down the links below, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.